everybody, Spirit Otter here, and well, last time, uh, we took a look around the studios and met this girl, and actually, she never gave us her name, let's take a look, Penny Nichols, oh boy, alright, <laughs> I mean, that's not the worst pun in the world, but like, good lord. Uh, I think we, uh, talked to her about everything, and we were gonna go grill the, uh, the security lady. <sighs> My favorite. Alright. Hello, Wendy. What? You're still here? For real, you look as though you've seen a ghost. I think I finally got a voice down for her and I'm happy about it. Alright. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted you to ask you again about yesterday. You claimed you were here at 1pm, correct? And the estimated time of da Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure, as can be. Well, we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here on that day. What? Are you absolutely sure? Are you absolutely sure you were watching the whole time? Ma'am. Who is it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek! All right, you better tell me quick, you spiky hair cretin. Who's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are all alike nowadays, running your mouths tomorrow. <laughs> oh, good lord, not again. <laughs> She left. I... Jeez! Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulder. Alright. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Examine. Now let's see if we can get that photo. The computer that runs the security cameras. Nick, maybe we can use to see the photo of oh, uh, Powers on the with this computer. Uh, I'm sorry, I can read. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I have to just enter a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the day of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on that day around 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the station. Please enter the... Uh... Ah, uh, there. Entered. I just guessed that one! Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 5th, 2 p.m. Photo number two! What does that mean? It means there's more than one photo from that day? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Then why was there two photos? Hmm, interesting. Hey, Nick! 
Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? Excuse me, people. It's never a good idea. It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. What? You could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax. It was just a joke. So are we done here? So are we done for the day? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still. It'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? Oh! Well, I guess I'm gonna go on to the trials! So, uh, sorry for stopping it so soon, but I thought I had more to do. Alright. Yep, I'll save. Let's move on to the trial then, shall we? Hey, Edgeworth, how you doing? The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that around 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant... Mr. Willpower killed fellow Jack, fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face. Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Oh, God, we're going to be beating up on the poor detective again. Detective, if you would briefly describe the... If you would briefly describe the case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain here with this guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? As the employee... Here's the employee area. The actors did a run-through of the action scenes during the morning here. There's the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security... Past the security station, there's a gate, see? That's that are the studios. And here is Studio One. There's a scene of the murder where the body was found. Now on the day of October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman and a young woman, the production assistant. All these production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. A jump ahead to later that day at 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai spear was found lodged in the victim's chest. It was the murder weapon. Mm-hmm. That's the case in brief. Would anyone like to hear it again? 
Hmm, should I listen the whole thing again? Nah, I, I think I got it. I got it. I think I probably remember that. And uh, gosh darn it, there's construction going on outside my house. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Let me actually just take a look at that real quick. Interesting. Okay, I can't get a closer look. Right, that's later games. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security guard at the station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> hmm. My, aren't you the handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please! Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please! <laughs> Seems Estorus has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. <laughs> Wendy Olbag, dearie. Just... Oh, God, not again. Objection! I object to the witnesses talkativeness! <laughs> oh my god! Objection sustained! The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. We couldn't catch any of that! Perhaps we can get on to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder. Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Yeah, this gets interesting real fast. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station around 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer. And the rest have been doing a run through since, uh, run through there since the morning. Well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway. It was one when I got back to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. And the murder happened around 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by at around 2 p.m. It was Powers. That man right there, he was headed towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, um... I'm not really seeing anything. At this point, uh, I've forgotten a lot. Um... Mostly because case three... While it's got some cool stuff, uh, it's not really the best case of the game. It's probably the weakest. Uh, it is the weakest, actually. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna press every statement, because I have to. So, up until that time, anyone who wanted to go to the studio... Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, so no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee keycard to get in. 
Right. The key card I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be in there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old hammer. Okay. A run through? They were working out a scene between the steel samurai and the evil magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and were using the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at five. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. Okay. Talk about a layback hero. Yeah. If there was a one through in the morning, why did you only get there at afternoon? Well, I had some errands to run that morning. Alright, so what errands? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. No, answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor hammers and uh, poor hammer and powers, observing. You know, observing. Weren't you supposed to be guarding the station? Whippersnapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Not sure your boss would see it that way. Hanny, I was watching hammers run through. Oh. I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. I never missed one in all my years. Oh, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through, too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Okay, it was 1 p.m. Did you see the victim, then? Did I see poor Hammer? Nope. He had already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate until from then until five. Okay. So you were watching the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Of course! I'm a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? Oh, it's just after seeing you eat those donuts in those guards station yesterday. I can watch the game and eat donuts at the same time. Snipper whapper. <laughs> Snipper whapper. Oh, one bag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? How do you know that? Oh, ho, ho. I have my ways. Overdressed, the, that overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts. He talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his jaw. Poor gumshoe! Poor detective gumshoe getting chewed out by a security guard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting to me because a certain man walked by at, I, at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. You're sure? Sure, spit. Well, who was the man? Really? You should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. <laughs> now, now, don't get your skivvies in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. Um, hold it. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. He got wax in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull it. Oh! Oops, I skipped over that. Okay, okay, okay. So this is where I pull out. Blech. Sorry, people. My brain's not working so good today. Hey, music stop. We're good. So let me get the straight old bag, or er, Mrs. Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday you saw Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? 
Just a minute, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Well, 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 well. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Mrs. Oldbag. This is the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyway, I can plainly see that's Powers, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, I wonder. It's true. Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Ooh. I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one is accusing- No one in the squad is accusing you of that, Miss- Our witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Pardon? What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? Prosecution would like to ask the old... Uh, the witness to make known the information in your possession ahead of time? How was I supposed to know everyone would be so nosy? You should all, all be a, You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway... I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't good evidence as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow. Old ba old Whitbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof then. Um I'll do that next time. Uh so uh, yeah. Bye!